All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome, welcome to another game between Moon versus One Twenty. Um, Moon spawning well over here on the bottom left-hand side of the map as that blue Night Elf player. Meanwhile, One Twenty has spawned as the Red Undead. Um, oh, there's two. Oh, there's three. <laughs> whatever. I'm just doing whatever, saying whatever. Seeing that. Um, that's pretty much what I do as a as a caster sometimes. Um, I'm yeah. Right, I, I talk about what I see on the screen and then try to extrapolate and formulate different thoughts. Hopefully, it doesn't come out as a word salad. Um, yeah, my, my wife was making fun of me. My wife was trying to be encouraging. Um, I had said, you know what, like, I, I sometimes I, I think I'm smarter than I sound, and or, or I, I sound smarter than I am. Uh, I think is what I said, and my wife looked at me. She's just like, "No, you're you're just as smart as you sound." I'm like, "Oh," and then she looked at me, and sometimes you sound pretty dumb, and I'm just like, oh, "Great." So yeah, being able to be honest with your spouse always very very important. Being able to joke around, some good times there. Anyways, let's see what's gonna be happening in in this one v one matchup. Moon gonna be opening up altar of elders. Actually delayed. Delayed Altar of Elders, so it is going to be a Tavern Hero. Um, tavern Hero um, coming in from, well, Moon. A little bit interesting of a matchup here. Meanwhile, we are looking at a Death Knight coming in from 120. All uh, right, yeah. Waifu, um, yeah, just absolutely wrecking me. In encouraging, Please, encouraging words, right. right? Anyways, Acolyte, going to go ahead and sweep on by, do a little bit of scouting. <coughs> well, wow. hmm. Don't tire out my voice. I still have other things to do later today. Mm. All right. Death Knight already out onto the field here. We should be looking at a Tavern Hero. Two minute, 15 second mark is when they are available. Currently at 210 and rising. Meanwhile, we're looking at an Ancient of War while going after the Ogre Warrior Creep Camps. And it is going to be a Beastmaster. Is it a Beastmaster with bears first? Yes, it is. And those bears in that front line spot able to, well, absorb a lot of damage. Bears, when um, bears, however, this particular strategy does concern me though. 120, um, while well, going for summons um, or a pure summon hero is actually very, very scary. Death Knight now making its way over. Is it going to try to get two hits onto that Forest Troll Berserker? There, there's the Death Coil and the Death Knight of 120 able to steal that little bit of experience with the help of, from those skeletal minions. Archer trying to retreat back and go ahead and get healed up a little bit more. Now, Trying to go for mass summons against the undead is just another invitation for the undead army to just go for um, go for d destroyers. With that said, though, destroyers are much better at taking down a lot of low hit point summoned heroes or summoned units as opposed to one very big summoned unit. Bears already have 600 hit points at level 1. 900 hit points at level 2 and then I believe what 1200 hit points at level 3 making destroyers nearly impossible um, to easily easily devour them we're looking at the Beastmaster still wandering around here archers are still in position death knight now making its way back again this game taking place here on Concealed Hill. It is red versus blue, but it is not your standard red versus blue colors. If you guys are noticing, as me or the bear, I, I keep on wanting to call the bear Misha. Um, Misha still wandering around here, getting in a little bit of damage again. Beastmaster going after that Death Knight. A little bit of additional damage coming in here. Sea Turtle is trying to head back, but 120 has been doing a great job just constantly harassing and perhaps even using skeletal minions to get in that little bit of extra damage. Death Knight nearby. Death Knight, are we going to see the Death Coil? Yes, we are. Death Knight gets the experience once again. Beastmaster barely has any experience on the board as the skeletal minions perhaps going to go after. There's another Death Coil. Level 2 on the Death Knight here as this one sea turtle could end up getting taken down death knight gets the experience and the gold Be beast master completely shut down as the units are making their way back yeah um so th the problem is that um that yeah 250 hit point dispel magic doesn't really hurt that bear all that much but it's not but it, then you look at the beast master's other abilities it's going to be quill beast or going to be that hawk which means that there's going to be multiple summons out on the on the map at the same time anyways 
So with that said, maybe it's better than having eight Trents out onto the field. <clears throat> eight Trents out on the field at the same time. But that, but still, it's still going to be a little bit of an issue for that Beastmaster perhaps getting shut down later on. Naga Sea Witch as the second hero coming in from 120. Very, very aggressive Naga Sea Witch here and trying to push the advantage while he has it. 120 going after the Beastmaster right there. There goes that, well, was that um, Crab Limb Ripper? It's going to get taken out. But usually the Naga Sea Witch as a second hero is there to pu push and try and contain your opponent early on. Moon is already kind of stuck inside his base he's in a little bit of uh, problems already and the naga sea which is just going to allow um, allow 120 to just constantly put in more pressure and make retreats that much more difficult if he's especially if he's trying to overcommit to take down that um, that sea witch there you can see so much damage and a little bit of path blocking once more as that beastmaster down to 300 hit points and dropping quickly skeletal minion will finally get taken out here archers are going to try and shadow meld uh, as we see this naga sea witch well, backing up again, that bear has been really pushing in a lot of pressure and damage onto the Crypt Fiends. Is the Death Knight actually going to finish off that bear here as the units are now making their way back off to the north? Bear down to 136 hit points, down to 109. It looks like the Death Knight's going to try to close in on that distance, but the time life, well, not worth chasing and following. Blinking bears can also blink in and out. That is true. But and well, once your opponent is already at level 5 on that Beastmaster, well, um, you should already have enough destroyers out onto the field um, to really cause a lot more problems. All right, Ogre Lord, going to actually get trapped? No, doesn't get trapped. 120, actually a little bit of a misstep there. He wanted to use that containment trick to trap the Ogre Lord um, right here and then just surround it so that they were able to easily take it down and pick up that very useful item. No, so, no such thing luck this time around as both sides well retreating back a little and perhaps we will be seeing um, well a lich coming into play in just a moment death knight only has a scroll of town portal items pretty sparse for the death knight so far meanwhile naga sea which gonna go ahead and try and clear out this not no overseer creep camp we are looking at the Beastmaster sitting at level 2 and gonna try and make quick work to get to level 3. Was surprised to see a second bear being summoned here, especially since the, well, Moon's Beastmaster was so close to level 3. We're gonna see this Tree of Life will take quite a bit of damage. Beastmaster is now at level 3, getting purged down here. Tree of Life absorbing quite a bit of damage. Meanwhile, off to the north, Death Knight clearing out the remainder of this expansion, ex expansion location as well. Lich is going to get trained up. We should be looking at Orb of Corruption. Naga Sea Witch is sitting at level 2. Death Knight sitting at level 2. A little bit low on hit points. But nothing an Obsidian Statue can't quickly take care of. Bear. Down to, what, 500 some odd hit points. Taking a little bit of damage over time. Um, I'm still... Yeah. I forgot how fast that Black Citadel actually attacks, dealing quite a bit of damage here as we're looking at the Naga Sea Witch moving its way forward again. All right, little bit of range damage, double obsidian statues. Rock Golem should get taken out. Crypt Queen's going to be joining in. Lich should be joining in on the fight right here as well. Is it going to finish off that bear in time? Could easily finish it off. Does it get the experience? Yes, it does. I'm getting a little bit of experience right there on that level 1 bear. Meanwhile, the Death Knight going to go ahead and finish off the Forest Troll High Priest and finish off that Forest... Nope, leaving behind a Forest Troll Trapper, but at least picking up the Tome. All right, Mass Dryad Army here. Beastmaster sitting at level 4. Are we going for Solo Beastmaster at this stage? Yes, we are. Solo Beastmaster it can get to level 6 very quickly. And if it's level 6... Well, we could be getting into those stampeding lizards, and then that makes it very easy to do a lot of damage to expansions. All right, selling some items, picking up a scroll of healing, dryads, archers, this massive piercing army is already on the move. And we could be looking at True Shot Aura a little bit later on. Meanwhile, however, 120 going after the difficult creep camp and picking up a wand of mana stealing. All right, double claws of attack on that Naga Sea Witch. That Naga Sea Witch will be able to deal so much damage. And you can see one more arrow is just going to finish it off right there. Lich with the negative armor coupled with the Naga Sea Witch's bonus damage. That Naga Sea Witch almost seems like it is dealing um, well, a critical strike every time it attacks. 
Naga Siege on the move once more. What is that Death Knight gonna do? Is it gonna sell the one mana stealing? No. Gonna be trying to double back around. Meanwhile, Tree of Life has entangled the gold mine here, but it may not be set up for very long. Crypt means trying to take down this Tree of Life. Piercing damage, magic damage, heroic damage. I've said it before. Does not take down buildings very quickly. It's gonna have a little bit of time there. And Moon is responding in in order. Bear, Raging Bear, does have Bash, but it's still not trying to try and repair here. Meanwhile, off to the top left here, there is a Necropolis in position for an eventual gold mine, but that gold mine has yet to be haunted. Repairs are now getting underway. There is that Beastmaster Illusion. It is just going to get poofed into nothing. Meanwhile, Dryads and Bears are going to try to get into position here as well, as the Bear is just going to get Devoured Magic here in just a little bit. All right, we see a, a little bit of Bash damage coming across. There is a Dust of Appearance for the reveal. Quill Beasts are out onto the field. Destroyer should be trying to devour that magic and, and eating up those Bears and those Quill Beasts pretty quickly as the Bears are trying to finish off and get in some necessary stun. Beastmaster now trying to back away. Massive Dryads showing up to the party as the Bears are able to finish off some of those Crypt Fiends rather quickly as well as we see the dust of appearance well nope and the crypting trying to back away there's a death cloud trying to keep it alive are we going to see another uh, another bash no we are not a big attack once again as the burrowed crypting does stick its head in the sand again only to pop back out and get taken down still fighting their way death knight continuing to battle it through dryad trying to get away Beastmaster and low hit point dryad still um, uh, dancing back again as this dryad may end up well being able to escape again Dryad's now backing up once more. The Tree of Life is back up to full hit points, and more mining is still happening. Beautifully done. 70 supply compared to 48, as Moon has not lost much of anything. Meanwhile, 120 is doing a great job trying to hold on. Hold on to... Uh, hold on to um, uh, this game while staying in low or no upkeep. All right. Death Knight could be in a little bit of trouble. Down to 186 hit points. Beastmaster is right there. Raging Bear does not have Blink. Will not be able to close in on that distance and perhaps take down that Death Knight. As we see a, well, a little bit of healing going on at the fountains. All right. Moon doing a great job using the fountains of health to his advantage. Being able to heal up at the fountains of health. Not using those Moon Wells too much. As we see a Frost Nova go down onto the Beastmaster. Beastmaster is going to be in major trouble. What's going on? Why is the rest of the Night Elf army not nearby as the Beastmaster is inside the base right there? All right. Dropped the Pure Up to Vitality. Picked it back up. In comes the units again. What is going on here? The Dryads all oh, just, just not even well, bothering to defend in the home as the Beastmaster is just running around in the back. Dryads are not going to be putting pressure on the on the expansion. Scroll of Town Portal coming in as the Beastmaster going to run off off the north here. There it goes as the remaining units trying to retreat back here. All right, one Dryad will get taken down. Two Dryads, um, second Dryad taken down as well as the Ancient Protector is in position. But without an army to try and protect it, the Ancient Protector, well, will not be able to stay alive for very long. Dryads in position. Bears trying to make their way over as the Ancient Protector will end up getting taken down. There it goes as the Crypt Fiend joining back in on the fight. Beastmaster Bears are showing up to the party. There is a reveal once again as the Crypt Fiends could end up having a very bad day. Fork Lightning onto the Beastmaster. Beastmaster in a li little bit of trouble as the units are just going to well, try and heal to stay alive once more. There goes that Raging Bear. Bear taken down. As the Crypt Fiends are trying to hide in the back, there is enough towers or one tower in the back here to try and slow things up quite a bit as the Crypt Fiends are well, trying to stay on Blight to stay alive. Beastmaster in a little bit of trouble here, getting in that Spirit Bear. The Spirit Bear will be able to blink and get into the back line going straight after that Naga Sewage as we saw right there. As the Quill, well, as another, well, burrowing Crypt Fiend sticks its head in the sand. There goes that, well, one Crypt Fiend there. One Crypt Fiend in the back. It is currently being revealed. That Crypt Fiend still getting healed up right, rather nicely as the Beastmaster needs to get a scroll of Town Portal to head on out. 55 supply compared to 62. An army of Dryads hiding off over here, still healing. Are they going to make their way back down to the south as well? Moon has an economic or has, has been able to save many of his units. But that last fight, his army was split up a little bit more than he would have liked. And therefore, he I believe he lost more units than he was expecting. But 
if 120 thinks that he has the army size advantage, he is going to be coming into a bit of a shock as all of these dryads, well, are going to cause some major problems again. All right, Raging Bear is going to be able, there goes the bear. The bear is able to just dash on in and try and bash into position. Death Coil onto the Abomination, keeping it alive. Death Knight sitting at level four, though, not level five. As you can see, the bears are just absolutely stunning their way through those lines. Destroyer is able to devour that magic again as the Beastmaster is in a little bit of trouble. Scroll of Healing, Potion of Healing, both being used there. Are we going to see the Scroll of Healing? Well, Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability used instead. Abomination taken down. More units are falling still as the Dryads are pretty much just being ignored at this stage until they, well, wander around a little bit too far. Destroyers, Moon sitting at, what, 59 supply compared to 63. Beastmaster is going to be in big trouble, down to 270 hit points. Fork Lightning aggros the creeps. A little bit of an unfortunate break as 120 gets his units ensnared and is forced to deal with these creeps right now. Yes, right now, Moon has no easy way to deal with the undead heroes. Solo Beastmaster, um, not going to be enough, especially with destroyers in the air, being able to shut down, um, well, at least a Quill Beast, if not more. All right, Double Obsidian Statue still, uh, still healing things up quite a bit. We are looking at the Red Drake of trying to take down some of those um, buildings here. Meanwhile, Dryads catching an Abomination in transit. It could have been lost, but... Good, good hands by 120 to get that abomination back on top light and perhaps being able to have, well, a little bit of coverage, coverage inside uh, next to that black citadel. All right, units making their way back off to the north here. Dryads are still poking their way through. Crypt Fiend sticks its head in the sand. Abomination is in trouble, but the remaining destroyers are now showing up to the party, and we are ready for an engagement here. Dryads are going to get taken down. Slow towers are slowing towers from that Black Citadel. D um, destroyers, are they just going to start eating that spirit bear? And um, well. Uh, well, blinking away. Wow, I was just like, for a second, I lost the spirit bear. There it goes. It gets taken down as the Abomination was able to stay alive. 58 supply compared to 69, 120 now with a major, major advantage here going in to, well, going into the next fight. All right, Beastmaster still sitting at level 5, a solo bear or solo Beastmaster, a solo hero should have a high level advantage over his opponent, but that is just what we're seeing here as the units are still wandering around once more. All right, we see one Forest Troll High Priest in position here. Dryad's going to perhaps try and intercept some targets as the Beastmaster makes its way back down to the south. Does have a Staff of Teleportation. Will be rejoining with the rest of the units as the Crypt Fiend could end up getting bashed into Oblivion. All right, are we going to see this one Crypt Fiend get taken down? Yes, we are. Bear now trying to make its way back off to the north, perhaps taking down some of these Acolytes, but there are two towers in position, making this, well, base very difficult to take out. The Spirit Bear couldn't have just blinked to the back and then tried to get some damage in. Uh, are we going to see that? No, we are not. There it goes. There's a Blinking Bear all the way to the back, going after the Acolytes now. One Acolyte will get taken down. Um, well, nope, it's actually a little bit too slow. There it goes, trying to take down some of those units. Destroyers in position. There's that Devour Magic, replenishing those hit points and a little bit of mana for good measure yes yeah, so far it doesn't look like moon's army is going to be able to deal with um, 120's army at all especially as more crypt fiends are added in that piercing damage so so powerful against those dryads and well those dryads now just still needing to try and back away this is still not uh, looking too strong here. Archers, well, getting pummeled by their own friends here as it gets taken down, trying to free up supply and perhaps stay in low upkeep. 80 supply over 90 compared to 67 over 80. Um, Moon, not quite sure why he let that archer go, but perhaps he didn't want to feed any more experience to his opponent. Meanwhile, the undead army sitting at a comfortable 80 over 90 should be able to start putting pressure or do something with that army size advantage now. We are looking at two destroyers overhead, uh, keeping track, making sure bears aren't going to be diving in. And in comes the undead army to go after the Tree of Ages and the remainder of these buildings. All right, Dryads repairs are going to be getting underway. Death Knight, while well, getting detonated um, alongside the Lich and also that Sea Witch here. We are going into an engagement here. Massive repairs underway. Destroyers, Goblin Sappers is going to take down. No, does not take down the towers. The slow towers, um, well, repositioned right there. And those two towers are still here to stay. Beautifully done 
to try and keep this base up and operational. Dryads, however, able to force back those destroyers. There's some devour magic, but the bears are going to get taken down pretty fast as well. Destroyer down to 500 hit points and dropping quickly. Squirrel of Town Portal now for a quick exit as those units, well, didn't want to stick around. All right, Dryads teleporting back to this Tree of Life here. Dryads cannot kill undead heroes. Um, not in a straight-up battle like that. Especially as the Death Knight has been able to keep those other units um, well alive and well for so long. Moon's been making great use of these of the Fountains of Health to keep his units alive without draining these Moon Wells too much. But with all of that, it still doesn't look like this particular strategy is working. Um, we're looking at well another bear getting well absolutely blasted with ice right there. Are we going to see more cold arrows, more engagement? Thank you for the follow as the Death Knight chasing after that Quill Beast is going to be able to finish it off. Looks like it's going to try and do so. Get a little bit of extra experience as well. So far, it's still two bases to two bases. One, one, well... Oh, wow. Moon actually lost his main Tree of Ages in that last engagement before the Scroll of Town Portal. So 120 is in a much, much better position than I originally thought, losing that Tree of Life. Meanwhile, the Beastmaster is still wandering around off over here. Death Coil finishing off another bear right there. The nukes are just too much. And yeah, I think... Night, th that was just going to be a slow bleed right there as the main or the only mining base that was left was about to get taken out. 120 easily takes out Moon on Concealed Hill with Moon using, uh, well, a rather questionable strategy going for Beastmaster first and then into Mass Dryads. Um, really, it didn't feel like there was any real pressure that Moon um, was could have done. Um, the destroyers lived up to their name once again. They were able to just devour, devour magic, take down those bears. The bears uh, were there to try and take down the crypt fiends, but um, it just wasn't working out enough. And and one twenty didn't want to rush it. Was able to take it slow and steady and come out with the win. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.